One of the exciting things that's happened in cancer in the last 15 years has been the development of new therapies. These drugs are very expensive to produce, and one of the major determinants in how much it costs to produce them is how much material you can make at the manufacturing stage. Cancer biologics, specifically monoclonal antibodies, are produced in cells that secrete these products into large reactors. Oftentimes, the composition of the media, the pH of that reactor, the oxygen content are modulated to enhance the productivity. But very few studies on optimization ask which cells are actually most productive. Conventional approaches to evaluating populations of cells rely on microtiter plates. These are plates that hold on the order of 200 microliters. This is the equivalent of a few hundred raindrops in an individual well. We've developed an approach that uses microfluidics and a miniaturized version of these plates where each container in it is now a millionth the size of a raindrop. These plates now allow us to screen tens of thousands of cells in a single afternoon but we've been able to get snapshots of what the distributions and productivity look like in these reactors. And it turns out to be very interesting that there are superstars that produce lots of protein and slackers who produce very little. And that's important because the titer of the reactor, or the amount of protein that's produced overall, is a strong determinant in the cost of these therapies. So one of the fun things that we're doing now with the research is that we are intentionally creating different populations of cells that have real superstars and real slackers in them that are, in fact, genetically different from one another. The long-term objective of this work is to understand how do we maximize the productivity out of these individual populations of cells. By doing so, we can drive down the cost of these therapeutics and make these drugs more accessible, not only to individuals in the first world, but also perhaps in the developing world.